Hey everyone, my name is Patrick, and today I'm going to show you how to allow your end users to add company and personal applications to the portal with the OneLogin browser extension. OneLogin's browser extension detects when users sign into new applications and automatically adds them to the portal, which ensures much faster and more cost-effective onboarding for all of your organization's applications. Okay, let's get signed into the portal and set this up. To allow your end users the ability to add company and personal applications, you must enable it in the user policy. So let's head to settings and then policies. Today I'm going to test with the default policy, which is assigned to my administrator and account owner, Sarah. So I'm going to select the default policy. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see this section here called browser extension. Now the first thing I'm going to do is allow my users to install the browser extensions from their profile page. I'll show you guys what that looks like in a moment. So I'm going to enable that. Second, I'm going to allow my users the ability to add company applications and I'm going to allow my users the ability to add personal applications. By allowing your end users the ability to add company applications to the OneLogin portal, you begin to crowdsource a huge initiative, historically driven solely by the IT organization. You're also ensuring your users get access to the applications they need as soon as possible, without making IT a bottleneck. By allowing your end users to add personal applications to the OneLogin portal, you're ensuring that if they need to access resources outside of the company, they're doing so safely and securely from the OneLogin portal, whether at home or at the office. Next, let's select Save. Now I'm going to head to the profile page of my user, Sarah, and show you what options appear. Now you may immediately notice that we have a new section called One Login Browser Extension here at the top. And because it detects I'm using Chrome, it's already providing me a link to install the browser extension on Chrome. You can also see the other browsers we support by selecting Show Other Browsers. I'm going to select Install on Chrome. It takes me directly to the store, and I'm going to select Add to Chrome. And then I'm going to select Add Extension. And immediately, the One Login Browser extension appears. Now, because I'm signed into the One Login portal, if I select the One Login Browser extension, it detects that I'm signed in and shows me the applications that are assigned to me we're going to add a company application and a personal application to Sarah's portal. Before we add any applications though, I want to show you how amazing it is to be able to go from one app to the next from the One Login Browser extension when you're signed in. So I'm going to select Amazon Web Services. As you can see, it takes me immediately into Amazon Web Services. This is a SAML application that has already been set up in the One Login portal. Now that I've shown you how to navigate to different applications from the browser extension, I want to quickly show you an option that appears for your end users on the Preferences tab. So select Preferences under the User Profile, and you'll notice right here Browser Extension. This appears for your end users if you enable the ability to add company and personal applications for your end users. Now this option right here is just for administrators, so regardless of whether or not those checkboxes are enabled for your end users, this will still be here for you, the super user or, or account owner. For users to be prompted to add new apps to the OneLogin portal, this will need to be selected. 